Hi guys, today we'll be talking on general information about practical biochemistry and we are going to base our discussion in these three subtopics. One, biochemical investigation. Two, applications of biochemical investigation and instruments and devices used for biochemical studies. Let's start from biochemical investigation. One may ask, what is biochemical studies? Well, biochemical studies are studies that are normally conducted to obtain information on the chemical and physiochemical processes that takes place in the cells, tissues, and organs of living organisms in both normal and pathological states. Yes, it is a study that is always conducted to obtain information about the molecular mechanisms of living organisms. Understanding the molecular mechanisms of living organisms will help in the application of more advanced techniques of physioclinical analysis. If not, erroneous and misguided interpretation of the experimental data may be obtained. For instance, those working in the pharmaceutical companies, scientists, researchers, they have to understand the intrinsic nature of living organisms, the processes, the molecular mechanisms that takes place in living organisms for them to develop drugs that will target particular illness. And that is how they come up with most of the drugs that we see in the market today. This is why fields like medicine, med lab science, nursing science, pharmacy, and other health and clinical sciences cannot stand very well without the knowledge of biochemistry. They have to understand biochemistry very well for them to excel in their various fields. Now, in carrying out any form of experiment, be it by in biochemistry, in microbiology, in industrial chemistry, in any field, including social science and arts, the first thing to do is data collection, right? So because of this, selecting the biological materials and method for biochemical investigation must follow a special procedure. In clinical chemical analysis, biological secretions such as urine, bile, feces, breast milk, semen, etc. or biological fluids such as blood, the blood may be in form of serum or plasma and cerebrospinal fluid from the internal media of an organism are always used. These fluids and secretions are very easy to obtain without detrimental effects on the donor in as much as you follow the lay down procedure to obtain these uh, secretions and fluids. And again, the accuracy and reliability of biochemical analysis depend on proper collection and handling, that is storage of sampled biological materials. Storage of sampled biological materials is usually through refrigeration for blood and urine and freezing for biopsy specimen. So these biological samples have to be stored in the appropriate place for them to maintain their integrity and to avoid contamination. That is it about um, biochemical investigation. Now let's talk about uh, applications of biochemical investigation. Well, I used to tell people that biochemical investigation can actually be applied in any field. Yes, any field at all, whether in art or in science. Its application cut across fields like enzymology, toxicology, nutrition, bioinformatics, forensic science, 
environmental monitoring, agriculture and food science, biotechnology, mention them a lot. In every field, including that your field, biochemical investigation can actually be applied in your field too. Finally, we talk about instruments and devices used for biochemical studies. In conducting a biochemical study, a variety of instruments and devices are used that allow biochemists to isolate target substance and estimate its concentration in biological materials. These instruments and devices include electrophoresis system, centrifuge, spectrophotometer, colorometer, pH meter, chromatographic systems, amongst other instruments and devices. These instruments can be used in the isolation of target molecules or substance and to determine its concentration in biological materials. Thank you. That is all we have for you concerning general information about practical biochemistry. If you have learned something from this video, do well to hit the like button comment and subscribe thank you